Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. There will be no face introduction today. I do apologize for that, but I just wanted to get this video out as soon as possible. Today's case is extremely graphic and um, gory, so please be warned. Like usual, I'm going to be putting all the trigger warnings that are in this video, so please read them and be advised. I will be covering the case of Karina Smith and her husband, Michael Baines. I feel like this case makes a lot of people think. I feel like the big question is, what would you do in this situation? So when you're watching this video, have that question in the back of your mind and I want you to comment and tell me what you think. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into today's video. June 14th, 2020 was just another normal day for the majority of people in the town of Neston, Cheshire. Except for the 59-year-old Karina Smith, also known as Karina Baines, who was plotting revenge. Smith was in her early 20s when she married Michael Baines, who was in his 40s. They had a son together, which they named Craig. Unfortunately, Smith had experienced major grief in her life when her son Craig took his own life in 2007. He was just 25 years old. Craig had been in prison for serious assault. Craig told his mother that the man he had attacked was a P-word and that the man had essayed Craig. Smith and family members were confused to why Craig's life took this course. The day before Craig's death, he was distressed and had said, Mom, he's a bile. Smith thought he was referring to the man that he had attacked. Craig seemed happier the next day, and Smith did not explore further what her son had said the previous day. It is said that due to Michael's age, Smith became less of a wife and more of a carer. On July 13th, 2020, the couple had a dispute when Smith was shopping with her daughter. Michael called and seemed impatient for her to come home. The daughter allegedly told Smith how she did not like the way Michael Baines treated her mother. Smith had reportedly been informed by her daughter about the devastating allegations that her husband, Michael, had committed essay against the children for many years. Her daughter also alleged that Michael Baines had essayed their child, Craig, and then it all made sense. Allegedly, the man Craig was referring to wasn't the man he had attacked. It was his own father, Michael Baines. Now, I do need to quickly add, Michael is not here to defend himself anymore, so this is all alleged. Anyway, Smith was described as angry and very upset at the rumors circulating about her husband, and she believed them to be true. As the night went on, she phoned other relatives to talk about what she had been told. On the 14th of July, 2020, shortly after midnight, Smith was still furious and upset about what she had heard from her daughter. Smith went outside to her garden and grabbed a bucket. She then filled the bucket with boiling water and mixed it with three kilograms of sugar. Now, I didn't know this, but if you add sugar to boiling water, it forms a paste which sticks to the skin and intensifies the burns. This is an attack method which is common in prisons. Whilst her husband of 38 years lay asleep, Smith attacked him by pouring the mixture over his arms and torso. She then left the home. Smith never phoned the emergency services and then went to a house nine doors away to a neighbor who she didn't really know and wasn't really close with. The neighbor contacted the police and ambulance service after she told him, I've hurt him really bad. I think I've killed him. When the cops arrived, they found 81-year-old Baines in excruciating pain and whimpering in bed with the skin on his right arm and hand peeling off. 
He was taken to the hospital and remained in the burns unit for two weeks in a stable condition, but his condition deteriorated once again and he died on August 18th, 2020. At sentencing, Judge Yips mentioned Craig, the alleged abuse, and said, Although the background provides some explanation as to why you did what you did, I am sure you know that it cannot provide an excuse. Your actions cannot begin to be justified, whatever you believe your husband had done. You have taken Mr. Bain's life and caused terrible grief and shock for his children and those who loved him. Killing Mr. Baines also took away any opportunity for the allegations to be tested. That took away his right to a fair trial, bearing in mind that everyone is innocent until proven guilty. I have no doubt that this has caused untold pain to Mr. Baines' children. The allegations are left hanging but unproven. This is quite a dreadful situation for the whole family. Karina Smith was found guilty after a trial at Chester Crown Court and jailed for life with a minimum of 12 years. I know this is just a short case today, but I was just, when I was reading this case, I was like, what would you do in this situation? It would be really interesting to hear your guys' outtake on this and what you think. Thanks so much again for all of the support. And I hope everybody is staying happy, safe, and healthy. Bye!